Back in 2005, the Spirit rover encountered unusual rocks rich in water-formed carbonate minerals mixed with magma-formed olivine. Now, half a world away, Perseverance is finding remarkably similar rocks. So, what does this all mean? On this episode of Mars Guy, Perseverance arrived in the margin carbonate terrain in early September, a place that orbital spectroscopy said was rich in carbonate minerals like can be found along the margin of saline lakes on Earth. It collected the first core sample of this stuff and moved on to a second location by early October, which is where we'll pick up the story with Mars Guy for scale. This is where close-up images from the arm-mounted Watson camera revealed a surface with a notably rough and granular texture. The view with flicker vision nicely emphasizes the gnarly texture, which got my attention because it felt like I had seen it before on the other side of the planet. Here's a view at the same scale from the Spirit rover in the Columbia Hills of Gusev Crater, showing a carbonate-rich rock after brushing with the rock abrasion tool. It's got a remarkably similar texture, and the grains visible where dust has been brushed away have a similar range of angular to rounded shapes also seen in the rock observed by Perseverance after it was abraded with the abrading bit on the drill. The rocks in both locations also show notably similar veins, which likely resulted from mineral-rich fluids percolating through fractures and precipitating material that ultimately was harder and more resistant to erosion than the host rock, leaving it standing in relief. In both locations, the rocks are rich in olivine, a silicate mineral formed from magma. This combination of carbonate and olivine is rare on Earth but common on Mars, and is a clue to the origin of the Martian carbonates. As the name suggests, carbonates have carbon in them, which typically comes from CO2 in the atmosphere. CO2 dissolved in water mixed with some calcium, magnesium, or iron can precipitate carbonates. Martian carbonates are almost entirely made with magnesium and iron, not calcium, two elements that are found in abundance in olivine. Turns out that carbonic acid forms naturally from CO2 dissolved in water, literally seltzer water, which can leach magnesium and iron from olivine and form carbonate minerals. This simple chemistry is being pursued as a way to remove CO2 from Earth's atmosphere and sequester it in harmless carbonates. And this simple chemistry may explain the olivine carbonate rocks in Gusev and Jezero craters. If both contained volcanic rocks rich in olivine that were subsequently soaked in carbonated lake water when the atmosphere was thick with CO2, magnesium and iron carbonates would have been a natural consequence. So now two rovers have visited two different places on Mars that appear to tell the same story. It feels like deja vu, but it's actually an important addition to our evolving understanding of the history of water and climate on Mars.